Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this is your boy, KQ, KC Boxing Network. I be grinding. Yes, this is my day off, but I just had to uh, uh, pretty much bring you the current state of boxing like I do every day, Monday through Saturday. And today, uh, 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 it's the day that most of you Canelo fans can understand where everybody in the boxing world from Teddy Atlas uh, all the way uh, uh, to the Hispanic fighters that's in Mexico today. Canelo Alvarez is a cherry picker. Canelo Alvarez is not that fighter. I don't give a fuck if you fought or not. Like I told you. Like I told all my subscribers. You must. You must. And this is a motherfucking must. Be a boxing fan. And not a boxing fan boy. You know what that is, right? Oh, yeah, 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 you know. Before we get into this. I am KQ, KC Boxing Network. And first, I want to thank all my subscribers on what we call Ladies Night. We show Carissa Shields how much we care of what she's doing. She's doing a lot to boxing more than men is doing. I mean, sure, men going back and forth on Twitter, talking shit. But they ain't signing no contracts. They ain't fighting nowhere. What good is that to us? Hello? Wait a minute. Hello? Comment. Subscribe. Hello? Subscribe, motherfuckers. Subscribe. Because see, one thing about Carissa Shields. She fought in her hometown. Her hometown that uh, 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 just went straight down to poverty. The water debacle. Uh, 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 when Pontiac, the plant Pontiac. You got Pontiac, Michigan. Then you got Flint, Michigan. That made the cars. They had a plant just like the big three in Detroit. But they got hit the hardest. It's now, it's hard motherfucking to even get on food stamps there. But she brought a team of women that gave us a fight. On Fight TV, yes, it was. And she gave us a damn good card. Now, let's get to this. Thank everybody for the PayPal's. Thank everybody for the cash apps. And also, God damn it, thank everybody for the super chats. See, I might not have a lot of views and all this and uh, this many describers. But if you got 60 damn loyal base subscribers, always loyal, you happy. Yeah, I don't know about other people, but I am happy. I'm happy to be a part of KQKC Boston Network. I'm happy to be in that goddamn LDBC. Now, let's get to it. Canelo Alvarez, cherry picker of the year. Yes, right. Matter of fact, the headline of my fact checking, because some people don't do it, I do it. Fact checking. They said that who is responsible for the Canelo versus Yudern mismatch of the year? That's right, mismatch of the year. Huh? Now, of course, they say last weekend the fight fans got to see how Saul Alvarez defending his WBC super middleweight uh, strap. Against his challenger, Yadern. See, the fight resulted in a one side beatdown in which the opponent, Avini 
the motherfucker you dare, in other words, is supposed to be WBC mandatory challenger, proved to be totally unworthy. This motherfucker, you know what? I ain't political correct, so let me stop trying. All right? This motherfucker wants shit. All right? Now, I'm sorry, but, you know, sometimes you have to be yourself. All right? Real recognize real all the goddamn time. And this is what it is. So, everybody can cry and say, well, the black man hating on the Hispanic. It ain't nothing about color. It's about inexperience. It's about running. It's about running up and down weight class and doing what the fuck you want to do. I interviewed a damn good trainer this week. And he hit it right on the head. First of all, it wasn't no damn uh, 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 contract sent over to Triple G. That was a big ass lie. It was called clout chasing. And, it, and I have no doubt it was due to the uh, Triple G uh, uh, side of his uh, stable. Why? Because they want the Canelo fight. He been begging for that fight for three years. You're not going to get it, Triple G. All right? You're 40 years old. Take your ass back to Kyrgyzstan, where the fuck you from. All right? I'm tired of everybody wanting cloud chase, but ain't nobody putting a damn John Hancock on no contract. Don't get me started this morning. I ain't had my coffee yet. Because I've been too busy fucking around with this shit. Now, as I said, unworthy of such a status. And even less deserving of a shot at the WBC uh, 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 middleweight belt, the super middleweight belt. He wasn't shit, but a punching bag. Now, let me play Davis advocate for a motherfucking minute, all right? When you're darn fault, at least what the highlights i seen, he will come out blazing. He will come out going right at you. He will come out like a mean-ass bull out of stable with a cowboy on his goddamn back. That's what type of fighter he tried to be. But what about last weekend? He didn't try to be that fighter. He tried to be that fighter that went, walked right there, stood in the middle, and got the shit beat out of him. Round after round after round after round till he quit on the goddamn stool. And somebody, oh, somebody talk to me. Why did he do that? Inquiring minds, motherfucker want to know. Oh, inquiring minds want to know. Now, you got either one reason or you got another one. But Noah Canelo, a sued Everest, he got one. He got two. Don't give me that tainted meat shit again, all right? Because we already played connected dots on your back with that shit, all right? Here was something else. Because Julio Cesar uh, Chavez, a uh, 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 senior, said, you full of shit. He said, you ain't no motherfucking Mexican warrior. No wonder you say you don't represent the Mexican, you represent all Latin, Latinos. Because they disowned you. See, it's okay with a loss. It's okay to be beat or uh, this or that. It's okay to be undefeated. But at least fight somebody. Where you can have some self motherfuck respect. Where you can hold your head up high. You see? You can't hold your head up high. And let me tell you something, my, my, my brother and my sister Rance. Canelo Alvarez. You might see this. You might see that. You might see these dollar signs. You might not see. You might. You might see this Ferraris and uh, 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 all the other good Bugattis and all that shit. But inside, inside, that slow ass body, that slow ass foot movement. He ain't happy. He's not happy. He might be happy that he got a little money. 
Because we know how poverty hits Mexico. We know the drug cartel run that bitch. We know that the president is in the bed with the drug cartel. Hey, hello. Yes, I said it. And now. Oh, now. <laughs> we go inside of Canelo body. He ain't happy. Because he know damn well deep down inside. Oscar De La Hoya took his ass by his wings. All right. Well, let me put it this way. Oscar took him in his arms. Ha <laughs> ha, motherfucker, a wink, motherfucker, wink, wink. You see, Canelo sued Alvarez, all right? And Javini, you darn. That was a mismatch. Everybody know that was. Now, 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 he was totally unworthy of such a status, even less deserving of a WBC uh, 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 super middleweight belt. Now, to add insult to this motherfucking fucked up mismatch, which they done on purpose, all right? There's no doubt about that to me. The challenger, which is your darn, just showed up uh, uh, to pick up the check by not even trying to win. And what makes it so bad is this. Mauricio Suleiman, he had the fucking nerve to say that your darn could have went out. Now listen to this. Your darn could have went out on his shield. Motherfucker, when you pan somebody or when somebody show up just to get a check, Canelo knew it. He knew it. The best part of the fight when he walked out with a rapper. We didn't know what the fuck he was saying. But damn, the beat was good. <laughs> wow. Huh? So, I'm going to keep it real. I told you. I'm going to keep telling y'all asses. God damn it. I'm keep telling y'all asses. This channel. This network is not for the faint of hearts. Now, if your feelings get hurt, I'm sorry. Get over it, all right? Go in your room, put your face in your pillow, and scream, all right? Or cry, and, and mama gonna say, what's wrong? Because half of y'all live with your mama anyway. Y'all gonna say, what's wrong, baby? Uh, what's wrong, baby? Well, well, is this guy named KQKC? He pretty hurt my feelings, right? No, he told your ass the truth. That's what mama gonna tell you. He told you the truth. And kudos to KQKC. He sound like a real honorable man. Because that's what we are in the LDC. We honorable. Hell, yeah, you wouldn't even know nothing about the motherfucking boxing world you want for us. You go by that motherfucking so-called narrative that the zone put out, that 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 top rank put out. You know, goddamn well, Tan Crawford is in a chicken coop. You know, Telefino Lopez is gonna be in that motherfucking chicken coop. All right, but that's a different video. We talking about the cherry picker. And matter of fact, if my memory serves me right, he has to be. I mean, he got to be the most, the most cherry picker. That ever walk the motherfucking square circle. No doubt about it. He didn't run. He walked. Because the motherfucker ain't got no feet. Shit. Now, as I continue on, I know there's a video. Fuck that. All right? Let me take my time. All right? Now, Canelo, he got into the ring. All right? Now, by the time your germ was red, already inside the ring, he had taken Canelo around an extra 20 minutes delay to get in. Of course, uh, 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 it took him that long, you know? It was like a little wrestling circus fucking act. All right, that little ring walk, all right? Let me put it this way. Like one of my subscribers said, and I hope you don't mind me repeating it. It was like the WWE. It was phony. 
And I won't be surprised if I seen a chair flying that motherfucking ring. It hit Canelo or your darn in the head. And they turn around and say, well, who threw that? That's how phony it was. That's what a, a, a high price, a high uh, 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 showmanship of a sparring match it was. It was a high price sparring match. That's all it was. He laid down for a paycheck. He laid down for that extra check they was giving him. I'm not going to mention no names, but you know what it is. And for all you Mexican Americans, for all you Canelo supporters, you know what it is too. You know what it is too. When you have coaches out there saying, Canelo's going to do what Canelo's going to do. Mr. Suleiman, he had the nerve, and I mean this, he had the nerve to question the integrity, the heart of Yudern. When all along, when all the time, you knew that he was going to fall in the third round. Matter of fact, y'all motherfuckers had it all fucked up. Y'all had him falling in the seventh. He even forgot, oh, it was the seventh round, not the third, but that's okay. You see what I mean? Uh, I guarantee you, more will be to come. Trust me on that. Now, as I move the fuck on. I guess uh, 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 part-time uh, 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 Barnum will have felt envious of such rain wall. But to be honest, this is pro boxing. And we don't need such circus garbage to hype a fight. So let's keep it clean. You see what I mean, people? Let's keep it killing. See, I mean, we as boxing fans, watch boxing because we want to see a fight. The bloodiest, the most savage uh, display inside the ring. It's the best entertainment. It's a sweet science. We love to see fundamental, fight fundamental. And who have the best fundamental style, like a Mikey Garcia or a, a, a Earl Spence fight. Those were technical fights. Technical is just as good as brawling, especially if you got both tools in your toolbox where you can brawl and fight at the same motherfucking time. All right? Do you hear me talking? Huh? That's my thing about KQKC. I am not going to fucking hold back. Now, as previous stated, the battle resulted in a total mismatch. But was the reader really surprised that the so, so supposed mandatory challenge had no real chance of beating Canelo after seeing Alvarez a master performance against Canelo Smith? Do you call that a master performance? Let's be for real. Go back. Now, I don't play the resume game. Cause I feel that your resume is what you've done for me lately. And I'm talking about that next fight or that same fight. That's what I go by. Fuck what you did 10 years ago. Fuck what you did 10 minutes ago. All right, ho? Now, keep this in mind. And never, ever fucking forget it. Canelo Alvarez. It's the biggest motherfucker cherry picker it is to this date. Now, I know, I know you, you motherfucking Canelo fans going to say this and going to say that. And I respect your opinion. You got opinions just like everybody else. Just like everybody else got assholes. Well, you got one too. How about that? I guarantee you got one unless you got it sold up somewhere. So, what the moral of this motherfucking video is this. Your boy, 
your hero. All right, your hero. Your 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 your, your so-called uh, uh, fighter that got everybody fucked up. All right, I mean fuck fuck fucked up. All right, but y'all calling him bad. Y'all say hey, cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. And y'all don't even know he mixed with Irish. Y'all didn't know that, did you? No, you didn't know. Okay. Why the fuck you think he got red hair? Huh? So, again, it was a mismatch, and Canelo knew it. Now, I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to close. He said that the Charlo fight must happen. Okay. Okay. He said that. I give him that. And the only reason he said that is because he feel the pressure, not only from your fans, Canelo, but from the LDBC. We had spoke loud enough so it got back to you. Now, they might hate on us. Oh, they might hate on us. But they listen to us. They listen to us. Why you think they come back night after night, day after day, trolling? Because they listening. They listening. All day long, we have LDBC channels going on. Everybody's different, but we got, damn it, we the same. So, therefore, when you say that Charlo fight must happen, that ain't nothing but bullshit walking. That's all it is. Clap chasing. Uh, clapping back. All right? Clout chasing. Whatever you want to call it. Other words, I call it professional bullshitting. All right? I am. God damn it. I am. Oh, God damn it. I am KQKC Boxing Network. If you haven't subscribed... Ooh, wait. You better subscribe right now. Let's see. See, 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 see. See, I come on Monday to Friday. See, I come on at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. That's lunch talk for y'all asses. Then on Friday, uh, Saturday mornings, I come on at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. That's a talk show. You call in and tell the OG what's on your mind. Only what's on your boxing mind. I don't give a fuck about your love life, this and that, because I'm old for two. You know that. So I can't tell you shit, but how to get to the motherfucking uh, 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 divorce courthouse. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, uh, shit. Well, anyway, if there a fight, I'm calling the hoe. All right? If there is a fight, I am calling it. And guess what? I'm good at it now. I'm the best at it. Well, I want to say the best because I'm not poking my chest out. I'm not, I'm not going to sit up here and follow no narrative. I'm not going to sit up here and block somebody because they disagree with me. This is what this channel is about. Disagree to agree to disagree. That's what this channel is about. We don't block you because, oh, we love Fury. Okay, if that's your opinion, that's your opinion. If that's your fighter, that's your fighter. And with that, that's all I have. So once again, I say shout out. Wait, wait a minute. I say shout out to the almighty LDBC. Oh, yes. That's the Lion's Den Boston community. If your ass didn't know, now you know. First, I also want to shout out to all my subscribers. My old subscribers and goddamn my new subscribers, welcome to the network. And with that, I'm on to the next one. I greet you with the ancient word of peace. 
Assalamu alaikum. Salaikum salam. Peace be with you. And with that, I am definitely out of here.